on Saturday, November 3rd, the Ball State Cardinals faced the Indiana Hoosiers for the 10th game of the regular season. Ball State won the coin toss and deferred, so IU received the ball and defended the south end zone. Let's pick things up in the first quarter. First and 10 for IU from their own 20 yard line. Kellen Lewis rolling to his right. And that one's picked off by the other Lewis from Ball State. That's Trey Lewis with his fourth interception of the year and seventh of his career. And the Cardinals were excited because Trey Lewis, well, he just returned that ball for 36 yards. Now let's pick things up. Third and goal from Indiana's two yard line. Nate Davis rolling to his right and he cannot connect with Dante Love. So on the very next play, new freshman kicker in, Ian McGarvey, and his first one is good from 19 yards. So Ball State on the board three to nothing early in the game. Now later in the first, under 10 minutes to play, Kellen Lewis avoiding the tacklers. And he finds James Hardy for the long pickup. That's 47 yards all the way down to Ball State's 11 yard line. Ball State's defense would hold Indiana to a 30 yard field goal by Austin Starr, tie the game up three to three. Fourth and five from the 25 yard line, Ball State attempting to take the field goal, and it's a fake. Tanner Justice to David Jones for the first down and then some, that's a 13 yard pickup. Now first and goal from the four yard line, Nate Davis hands off to Chris Clancy, who runs it in for his first career touchdown at Ball State. So the Cardinals take the lead 10 to three. Moving into the second quarter, about 10 minutes left in the half, Kellen Lewis over to Fisher, and Ray Fisher, he breaks a couple, and he takes it to the house, 60 yards for the touchdown. So it ties the game 10 to 10 with 9.28 left on the clock. Now with under seven and a half minutes left to play, Nate Davis is intercepted by Chris Phillips. Phillips returns the ball for 58 yards and the Hoosier touchdown. So IU takes the lead 17 to 10. Now with 3.20 left on the clock, first and 10 at Ball State's 20 yard line. Kellen Lewis, he'd find James Hardy for the touchdown, extending IU's lead to 24 to 10 at halftime. Let's pick things up in the third quarter where it's third and 12 from Indiana's 38. Nate Davis talking to some of his wide receivers. And Davis rolling to his right, and he'd find Dante Love. He tiptoes it and gets the 21-yard pickup for the first down. Very next play, Nate Davis feeling the pressure. He's forced out of the pocket, but he'd find the freshman, Daniel Lift, who take it in for the 17-yard touchdown. That's Ift's first career touchdown and first touchdown of the year. After the extra point, Ball State cuts the lead 24 to 17. And the cheerleaders, well, they had something to cheer about for Ball State. Later in the third quarter, second and goal on Ball State's four yard line. And despite the penalties, James Hardy would come up with the catch. And that's a touchdown for IU. That's Hardy's 13th touchdown of the season. And that extends IU's lead 31 to 17. Let's pick things up in the fourth quarter. Second and eight from Ball State's 25 yard line and Kellen Lewis, he'd find Ray Fisher for his second touchdown of the day, the 25 yard completion. Ball State would hit a field goal before the end of the game, but the final in this one, IU holds on for the win, 38 to 20. Stats for Ball State, Nate Davis 26 of 48 with 358 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions. Daniel Lift, the freshman receiver, three receptions, 35 yards and a touchdown. And Chris Glancy, 29 yards, and also he scored his first touchdown. Brian Haynes, the linebacker, 13 tackles, nine solo, a sack, and three tackles for loss. Interesting facts, Dante loves 14 receptions and 177 yards, ranked second in the nation this week among receiving leaders. With the loss, Ball State falls to five and five overall.